Okay, so today we're gonna create the following feature uh, for our users. Um, so I'm just gonna add the boilerplate code. So here are the two routes for the follow route. I just create the post and the delete um, with the method names that make sense. And then in the service, I just added stubs right now. Uh, we'll fill this in in a bit, but the real work that we have to do is in our user entity. And we're gonna work on this to do. So, um, let's see how this will look like. Uh, so we're gonna have followers, and it's gonna be a user entity array. Um, I think we also need to have a followee user entity array. And we're gonna use a join column from typeform. So at join column, is it join column or join table? Let me, uh, the, uh, 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 join table, okay. All right, so this, this, is, this, is, this is, let's get rid of this. And this is gonna be a many-to-many -many relationship, so we'll add the many-to-many -many here. And it's gonna take the type of user entity, and user, this, our user is gonna reference user dot me right? This part always confused me. Oh, uh, which is which? And this is a many to many as well. Type is the user entity. And we're going to reference the other um, property. So user dot followers. Follow we follow. Let's um, let's change this to following. <laughs> Because that makes more sense. Follow wing. All right, and I uh, I think also based on the the output that we want. Um, let's see for profile. We just want a following equals to true or false. So. So this is also going to be, so we, we do want this to have a different name for, so follow, um, uh, follow me is fine, I guess. So now that we added the join table, we could start implementing the following feature. So I'm going to jump into the user service and we're going to update these follow methods. So it's going to be um, this dot user repo dot find one and the restraint is or the constraint is going to be where username is equal to username. Uh, we also want to add the relationships, so relations of, um, let's see, if you follow them, you become a follower, so we just need followers, and let's see, um, it's going to be a const user equals to await this. And I just realized we also need the current user. So current user, and that's going to be a user entity, which we can get from our um, request object, as long as they're logged in. And let's see. Um, we could just uh, do this. So I'm going to do user dot uh, follow words dot push current user and I believe I have to save the user so save 
And then we can just return the user. So return user. Um, let me think. Uh, that looks fine. Um, I think Typeform is smart enough to remove duplicates so we don't have to do the hard work. So I'm going to do that and go into our profile controller and make sure we update this to also have the current user. So I'm going to use the user, user decorator to get the entire user. Uh, and that is going to be user entity, entity. And for us to use the user decorator, we need to hide this behind an auth guard. So auth, it's going to be use guards, use guards, auth guard. And update this to say that. And I think that should work for us. So we can test out following really quick. Um, speaking of, I need to start the server. So, so let's make sure that our Postgres server is up. So Docker container list. And it's not. So I'm going to do a sudo docker compose up dash D. Also a note that you could take is that you could have the database always start whenever you com start your computer by adding a restart always here um, in your Docker Compose file. I don't like doing that just because sometimes I forget that a uh, Docker container is running and then it messes up with my developer workflow when I'm working on other projects because a port's being used up. But yeah, anyways, now let's start the server. Yarn start dev. Now let's go into Postman and I'm going to log in with our user Jake to get a brand new token in which we're going to copy. Um, and paste it into Jake follows. So headers, token, and we're going to go to localhost Jake slash follow and we're making sure it's a post request and we do a send and there's our followers. And I did one earlier off camera just to check. Uh, so it does return with a duplicate, um, which is okay for now because, uh, what, because Postgres will automatically remove duplicates. So if we do another send, we'll only have two in here just to show you because it can never have more than it'll after it saves, it'll automatically remove that extra one. And we're not actually going to return followers. Uh, if we go to the API spec going here, the response is actually going to be a Boolean saying following, seeing if the current user is actually inside of that followers uh, array. So we're actually going to mess up with the response type. So in profile, what we actually want to return from follow user is uh, could be a little different. So let's uh, do this. Um, do, 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 do. Let's make a, a private method. So I'm going to do private async. Actually, I don't think it needs to be async. Um, check if following. Let, let's not do that. Um, what's a better name for this? Let's uh, change it to... Um, To profile actually we could add that to the user entity instead so I'm gonna do a to profile um, method here and we're gonna take in a 
user, user entity, and let's see. So I'm going to do um, const following equals to this dot followers dot includes user. What we're going to return is a profile. So I'm going to do profile and it's going to be this dot to JSON. Um, we're going to do something that I don't really feel comfortable with, but we're going to delete a property. So profile dot followers are not. I think that's right. Does not exist on type any. I'll get to that. Um, and we'll do return profile is going to be, or actually I'm just going to do dot 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 profile and following. And let's test that out. Um, oh, right. We need to add it to the service. So, boop, dot, to the profile, and we're going to send it the current user here, current user, and see what that looks like. So, going back to Postman, we'll do a send, and we get following true, and then now, if we just do the same thing, but in the reverse of uh, unfollow. And I'm just going to do this in the yank and paste. And instead of a push here, now we also need to add the current user. So uh, yeah, so instead of the push, we're going to just do const user dot followers equals to okay it's not a good, it's not gonna be a const because we're mutating it but user dot followers dot filter and it's gonna be follower singular and we're just gonna check um so Everything remaining is going to be everything that's not equal to current user. Right. That's because we need to update the profile controller to uh, add the current user. So uh, we're going to add the same decorators. Um, use guards off guard and the decorator here is going to be at user of the user which is the user entity and let's unfollow Jake from Jake and following should be false now um, Oh, it's a delete to slash follow. Okay. So we don't actually change the URL. We are sending a different request. Delete. And following is false. All right, so we finished the profiles controller and the following feature. Uh, the last thing I want to do is um, see what happens here. We want to envelope the response so that we get a particular response. Um, so what I'm going to do is change both of these to async methods. And instead of returning here, we're going to actually assign it to a variable. Um, I'm just going to call it profile await so that we can return it inside of a little envelope thing. So profile here cons profile equals to await 
return profile. Make sure that it's inside of a object. And do, 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 do. oh right, we need to change this to an async method. So I'm just gonna add async here. And just for simplicity, I'm gonna change uh, this. Ah, fine. Profile, profile. So I could just do object shorthand. And if we go to Postman, and let's just do a get. Uh, this entire object should be inside of a little enveloped object with the response name, which is profile. Uh, so this is what they want back. If you look at the spec, the, all of these responses are inside of a little thing. And the actual entity data is inside there. All right, um, let me just scroll down. Registration, user, get profile, follow user, follow user, unfollow user. All right, so that's gonna bring an end to this video. And the next thing we're gonna tackle is articles, which is gonna be quite a bit of things to do. So you can look forward to that and I'll see you guys next time.